all right welcome welcome to a new video on my channel and uh, today we do something special i have been posting on reddit on my discord and also showed shortly on stream that i now own a steam deck and uh, yeah i uh basically what i do or what i did is to uh yeah play my most favorite game on the steam deck what you currently see is me remote streaming with the steam deck inputs the game on my PC, of course, I see it also here on the screen. So, today I will show you how I play Lotro with my keybinds, etc. Like from start to finish, how I play Lotro on uh, on this device. Before we go into the technical details, let me first give a short like review when so far my experience with the Steam Deck. So I got the Steam Deck for uh, Christmas, like this Christmas for my girlfriend. And yeah, um, I've been using it uh, ever since when I was like not on my PC setup, when I was on vacation last week, when I was in Los Angeles on vacation, I was setting this thing up. And uh, I would say so far it has been a very, very nice experience for me. Of course, a lot of work goes into figuring out how to keybind uh, all these buttons and commands you know so that it's playable without having to use a mouse or something the steam deck for me so far is well has become like a substitution for taking my laptop my gaming laptop with me on vacation in order to play games because this here is for you know if you're not at home this is for me perfect but obviously uh if you just want to play on this solely this is also possible you don't uh, need to you know like go on vacation for that or be outside from from your ordinary uh, computer setup like it works perfectly for someone that just enjoys playing games as well and uh, the steam deck does a lot of things better than just playing it on a sole controller which i also did already in lotro so in order to uh show you a bit more of the gameplay i started here that skirmish um thievery and mischief i also rearranged some of my uh, skills as you can see because the only issue i right now have that doesn't allow me to just grab that thing and keep playing it even after I just played on the computer is the fact that my keybinds on, you know, the keyboard versus the keybinds I have to do on the Steam Deck are slightly different and they don't allow to put the skills on the same position on the skill board so I have to kind of switch them up a bit to make the gameplay a bit more fun. You can play pretty fast, you know, I'm someone that plays very fast and dynamic on the keyboard. You can do it almost the uh, same as it's on the, as it's on the keyboard, you know. Obviously, I'm, I'm way out of practice right now, so you will not uh, see my best gameplay. I'm also not planning on becoming a pro in, uh, you know, playing on the Steam Deck, but this is how I play, you know, on uh, on my uh, in my on vacation, you know, on uh, inside of a gaming laptop. I sit with this on my uh, hotel room bed and, uh, you know, basically just uh, play my favorite game instead of having a computer. Also, to add, what you see now on my projector screen doesn't look as nice as on the Steam Deck. Okay, so while cutting this video, I basically just discovered this blue flickering in the image. This is a problem with the Steam Remote Capture, and this is not how it looks like on the Steam Deck. This is really just an issue of, like, projecting the Steam Deck gameplay on the PC monitor. Like, the Steam Deck resolution uh, looks much nicer than what I see right now on my Ultra HD monitor, right? So it's kind of, like, blurry on, on the monitor but on the steam deck itself on the screen it's it's very sharp the image as well so you have seen now some gameplay we're gonna switch now the camera setup that um, camera right on how i hold the steam Deck, how i play it and then we go through how to play the game so this is how it looks now from my point of view basically me playing it you also have the projection on the screen so before we start the game let me first show you quickly what buttons the steam deck comes with first a little background i already at some point tried to play lotro on a regular playstation 4 or 5 controller and that worked out very well to the point where i had a bunch of limitations that made the entire experience less enjoyable and with a steam deck a lot of these issues are basically gone and i show you why so the steam deck comes with your regular controllers you have two analog sticks you have the d-pad here you have this button this button and then of course the four like regular uh, standard button you have here a button you have here the steam button 
And what makes it extremely nice are these two trackpads left and right. These trackpads basically are the replacement for a mouse, you know, as if you are on a laptop, you know, with the trackpad. This is something that a controller doesn't have, and this always has been an issue, like focusing quest items or, you know, like something in the inventory would have to do this with the analog sticks. With the Steam Deck, you can just, you know, swipe around here and use this as a basically a mouse pad. Then we have also the, uh, the R1, R2, like those here, the dump uh, buttons. And here at the back, four additional buttons. You have two here and two here. Those are all independable, programmable buttons. So um, basically this is a controller plus two trackpads and four buttons on the back. So then let's start the game, I would say. And uh, you will also see like another nice feature that the Steam Deck has and the regular controller does not. You know, you just log in and then you can uh, click the Steam button X and will open you a keyboard that you can use to type. You can chat with this, you can log in. So I've now logged in and as you can see now already, the way how I bound the right D-pad is that it's basically a mouse. You can see the mouse when I swipe around, that's how I can target. All right, so in order to show you the rest, we're gonna do it like this now because I cannot really get a nice uh, clear, you know, image with the camera. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you now how to keybind if something in Steam in general. Steam system is actually a 10 out of 10, how you can uh, bind your controls. And the way how you do it is you go on the Steam button and this will open uh, the game and you go to controller settings. What you will get here is a small like overview on how like you have bound your uh, key button. You go to edit layout and here is now a different, you know, like group of what bot assist. We have the A buttons, those are like those here. We have the D pads, which is those here. We have the triggers, which are here on the back. We have the joysticks, we have the track pads, and there's even gyro. I did not really set it up. I don't think it's needed for uh, Locho. But what you can do here is now basically you can assign every button to a specific key on the on the keyboard. You can assign multiple buttons, like multiple, no, not buttons, functions to the same button. For example, the A button for me is, if I only press it once, if I tap it, it's like the space key basically jumping in the game. And if I hold it longer, it's the 9 button. So if you want to copy my keybinds, then I will gonna show this now without the face cam for now. So basically now I will go through all of my buttons, how they are at the moment. There might be an update in the future, but this will be... Uh, a starting point for you to play logic. So for the buttons, choose here the ABXY behavior as button pads, of course, so just regular buttons. We put the A to space key. This will be then in the end, you know, jumping in game. And we put a long press. You can do this by going to the gear wheel and you can basically add extra command and then you will see that another command appears or like another uh, function for this button. We make a long press and this will then be the nine. For B, a tap, like tapping B is 3 and long press is 7. X um, is then a 1 and the long press is 5. And Y is 2 and long press is 6. Let me go to the bumpers and the bumpers are uh, basically here on the on the back, you know, where, where you can click with the index finger. You have the left one, the top one. This will be the control key, like the CTRL or the STRG on the German uh, keyboard, I think. You will see why it's, the keybinds are kind of similar to how you would do it on a PC, on a keyboard setup on the PC. Then the R1, this is the H key. This will be the key for uh, targeting something, like talking to someone or opening someone, something or you know, attacking something. And then the, the, the double press for J, like you press it twice, this will be the J button. This will be then uh, be uh, targeting an NPC, for example. Then the back grips, those are the additional keys that uh, come with the Steam Deck that I showed you. You will find them at the back. You can press them with your ring finger and your uh, middle finger or with your pinky. It depends, you know, how you hold the Steam Deck. Here we have the L4, which is the shift key. We have the I key, which is the R4. The O, which is the L5. And the P, which is the R5 button. And the menu buttons, uh, those are also quite important. Uh, you have the one on the left, the share button, if you, this bracket, I think, yes. And if you long press it, it's a U. And if you, uh, this is the escape button, the top right uh, button, basically. It's just the escape button if you want to close your inventory or a map or whatever, you know. Let me go to the D-pad, and this is where I have all of my, uh, like, um, user interface, like, for example, opening inventory, opening map, opening character, whatever. You can still, obviously, click it by just moving around on the 
on the trackpad with the mouse you know if you want to open something that is not bound right now but uh, if we click the d-pad up then it's the f1 button if we double press it so like dub dub like we double tap it it's the f5 then we have the uh the left click is the f2 and double press is the f6 if we press down then it's the f3 if we double press down it's the f7 and then we have the f4 if you press right and if you double press right it's the f8 now the triggers um there are a bit special you have soft pull i did not bound this you know like if you just pull it uh, to the half of the button press uh, but the r2 we have a long press and a short press option if you just press it uh, like like you tap it basically as the uh, a x y b buttons you got the four and if you do a long press you get the eight then we have the left sorry the left trigger uh, button is the alt key the r2 and you will see why later on so joystick uh, this is important so the uh, right joystick this is basically the right mouse click so if you click it it will click the right mouse button and, and here important is that uh, that you set it to toggle because this will then fix it on the right click for it's basically to move around your uh, camera so if you click the right uh, analog stick with this setting then you it will be stuck on your character but you can then move around by moving around the right joystick um you have the left uh joystick behavior and here this is we have this set as a directional pad Putting the left joystick up is the W key, left is A, and then down is S. And it is basically for moving around, like walking on uh, WASD on your uh, keyboard. And if you click it, this is the left mouse click. Then at last we have the trackpads. And the right trackpad, I left this as a mouse, you know, basically just to uh, click stuff in the game. Also, if you click it, it's as if it's a right mouse click, but uh, I'm probably going to unbound this at some point. I don't really need this because the left joystick click is already left mouse click. Then, um, mode shift, like you can basically shift it into uh, something else. I don't have this set up, but you don't need this. Then the left trackpad, this is, as I already showed, this is a directional pad. So basically like another D-pad. Um, if you go up, then it's like scroll wheel up. If you go down, it's scroll wheel down. This is basically to zoom in and zoom out on your character. And if you go left, it's the F9. If you go right, it's the F10. And if you click it, it's the right mouse button because at some point you need to be able to click the right mouse button as well. Um, here you could uh, have the option to add, for example, for this the F9, F10, like a, a double click or a long press to add like an additional button to the entire setup but this is pretty much how the keybinds are for me at the moment so with that being said these are now my keybinds and uh, now you know if you bind it like this then you have this right trackpad you can then basically move around and then if you press the left joystick it's like a left mouse click so i just did that to log into my character so of course we have now bound stuff to the steam deck but obviously you will need to still bind it to uh you know to your actual settings and for that you know you can just open as usual the option i will now quickly go for the most important things and you can just screenshot it and set it up for yourself by pausing the video basically important is here the movement you know the space bar this is on the uh, a button if you press it once you space bar and then you jump you don't have no walk mode though but you can of course always adjust it to your own uh, uh ideals Quick slots one, this is important now. Those are basically mapped to one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to nine and zero. And then the last one are this uh, P and uh, F10. You will see why. It's just, uh, yeah. Then important, you know, just like on the control and the keyboard setup, you press control, which we set to be the, um, uh, I think this one here, right? This. And you press, uh, for example, X. And you will do a control one and then the same is done with the right the left sorry the left trigger this is set to be the uh i think the alt alt button yes you can then basically map another uh, set of uh, buttons and then at the back here we have the shift button here this is uh, for the upper row of the of the skill bar so i will just uh, go through this now real quick uh, where the important things are we don't have uh, quick slot four and five mapped we can always have combinations with ctrl alt and one for example well, that's up to you the so selections look like this shift plus tap 
Then we have Assist Fellow, Shift F2, this is for healers. And remember the Shift button, the F F2 buttons are here on the D-pad. And then the panels is important for like, you know, like uh, inventory and stuff. Basically, you're just going to copy now everything that I show you here on my uh, keybinds. And then the way how I'm going to demonstrate you, this is also how it's going to work for you then. But of course, you know, uh, feel free to uh, figure out uh, your own keybinds. I just try to give you some basics here. There will also be probably a second video about this. It's a bit more in-depth when I actually have, like, uh, finished keybinds. So now, first of all, we we'll start with movement again. You press the right joystick, it locks on your character, and you can look around with the right joystick. The left joystick, you can walk around. If you tap A, you jump. That's how I set it up. If you don't want to jump with such a uh, universal button, it's up to you to rebind it. But this is basically the movement. The next step is targeting. And uh, targeting, there's three different ways you can target either an object, an enemy or an NPC, and this is all based on the nearest object. So for targeting an object, I have set here the share button. If you tap it once, you're going to target the closest object next to you. So if you want to pick up something for a quest, go close to it, press this button and you will target it. In order to attack or like use something, you press this here, the uh, R1 button, and then you're going to use it. When you want to press the enemy, then I have here on the back, I have the R4 button. This is when I press it, this is how I target something. So now I've targeted the training stummy basically, and this is how you target things. Then fighting. So the first bar, so the, the way how it works, how I set it up is that pressing X once is the one button. Epsilon is two. B is 3, and the right trigger, R2, is 4. And this will cover the 4, like, uh, skills down here. If you only tap X, Y, B, and R2. So basically 1 to 4. If you hold it a bit longer, then the X button turns into a 5, which will then be this, this uh, slot here, right? If you hold the Y button longer, then it will turn into a 6, which will activate this slot here. And if you hold the B button, it will turn into the 7. And the R2, if you hold it, it will turn into the 8. So basically, with that system, you can now map all of these 8 buttons here on the bottom. In order to switch one up, we have the buttons here. We have the L1, which is uh, when you hold the L button, and you press any of these buttons here, for example, L and X, we tap it, then it should activate this skill here, as you can see. So you can also do the L button and the Y. This will be the control plus two, it will be the, the second in skill in the first row. In order to go to the middle row, sorry, wait, this is a bit weird with the mouse. To go to the middle row, like uh, this here, A1, A2, etc., we hold this here, the trigger button, and then again, you know, go with the buttons here. Like, for example, this one holding this and pressing X will activate the first skill on the on the uh, second row. And in order to access the, the top row, we have this button here, the L4, like basically here, the L4. This is the same thing, like we hold down L4, press the one, this will activate the first skill in the... Uh, the top bar, as you can see now here. Now, this is how we activate by just tapping those this block of skills. If you now want to access these skills, we have to hold down these buttons, remember, so in order to get like 5, 6, 7, and 8. For example, we want to trigger this, uh, this potion here. This would be holding down R2 enough in order to access the, uh, the second row, and then we hold down the X button in order to get the 5. And this will then activate the uh, this button. We can go one up, 
for example, one to the right, this will activate this if you hold it down. This will activate this. And holding down the trigger will activate the raising blade, for example. But this is basically how you can now um, access this entire block of buttons just with uh, with presses and you know there's still some uh, some some gap like there will be some buttons that are not bound but it's up to you like for example what you could do for here is you could make like uh, you could hold down both like um, control and alt you know and then press one and then you can probably Let's just do that right now. Why not? You know, let's just let's just do that. So maybe not without attacking this stupid thing. But now we are going to bind these buttons here real quick by adding like a different. Uh, what we can do now is, for example, go on quick slot forty nine. And now we hold down L one on R two and press X one. This will be the Alt Control one. And then for the next uh, five, six, seven, eight, we have to hold down the button. So we have to hold down X, then we'll turn into a five. So we now have mapped basically this entire row here with uh, buttons. And I also want to show you how I access stuff like inventory. So for this, I have here the, the, the main D-pad. If I uh, remember, those are the buttons like the F1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 buttons. If I press the one up, for me, that's opening my inventory. If I press it up twice in a row, like fast, this will open up for me the instance finder. If I press the right button, this is bound for me to the social panel. If I press the right button twice, this will open up the wallet. And then if I press down, this will open the map. If I press down twice, this will open the uh, skills. And left for me once is the character window and twice is the uh, skill tree base, like the, the you know, the, the trade tree panel. There's other things that you can map, it's up to you, you know. I also have here um, on the left trackpad, when I press uh, left, like on the left part of the trackpad, this will enable me the floaty names. If I press on the right button, this for me the mount, this is basically this slot down here. This is where I always have my mount also on the keyboard. So if I press this, press it again, this will give me the mount. Then also, um, in order to zoom in and zoom out, you basically press up. This will zoom in on the left trackpad. And if you press uh, down, this will zoom out. Then finally, I also have um, two buttons at the back. And this is this, this needs some work. Like we have here the P on this slot and the C on this slot. If I press the um, L5 here, this will activate the, the zero button here with wait sorry sorry this is uh, auto run l5 is for me auto run l5 is auto run but if i press the r5 this is for me basically this is where i have the button to um you know like break stun or something so i have a quick button to press that down here you know but yeah you can basically make this another uh, i don't know number button or something to maybe expand upon uh, this block that you cannot press yet with this uh, skill setup but this is basically all you need, right? I mean, uh, the rest is just fine tuning, you know, like uh, if you had, if you want to have another panel open, you can find a way to bind this here, maybe by holding down shift, like the L, uh, L3 and the uh, L2. And then again, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, then you can also bind this here, basically. It also makes sense, uh, you know, to maybe bind something to switch UI elements around. I don't have this set on the Steam Deck. I do this on uh, on the, the PC and then just log into the Steam Deck so until it's right. So yeah, we are basically at the end of this video. And I mean, I know it's a bit uh, chaotic to show this, but this video was meant to be some sort of introduction to how to use a Steam Deck on Lotro. And, you know, honestly, these keybinds, they should also work on any MMO. I mean, let's be real. If it works on Lotro, then it will probably work also at in WoW and, uh, I don't know, whatever the other MMO you play, you know. But overall, there will be a second video coming out when I put in a bit more, like, uh, research into these keybinds. I will try to find also a way how to share them with you directly. Also, the, the Lotro keybinds, like, you know, like... The keybinds which are stored in the in, in Lotro itself so that you can just download it and then start playing basically 
But for that, I would need to do a bit more research. I would need to play a bit more for myself also, not just on vacation, let's be real, you know. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I will, uh, tr yeah, I will uh, try to do that. But I think this is a good starting point for everyone that wants to uh, experiment a bit with this thing. In the end, you know, you have to bind stuff so such that it is... Uh, the best possible way for you personally you know like uh, you might enjoy pressing buttons differently than i do you know maybe you have the number buttons uh, down here you know and i don't know the shifts here you know who knows it's uh there's multiple ways to probably do this and it's up to you to figure it out but i hope uh, i hope you enjoyed this video this first uh, part of the video i i really do love my steam deck and uh, I do love playing on it also I should probably play a bit more you know when I'm also home but uh, it is a really good thing and I'm looking forward to vacations even more now because now I know I don't have to bring my five kilo laptop with me in order to play Lotro I hate it I hate putting a huge laptop next to my work laptop into my suitcase just to play a game I can do that all now here on the Steam Deck and this is completely enough for me if I'm uh, not on my main setup but with that being said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow, to subscribe, you know, watch the stream, whatever. And uh, we'll probably stream today a bit on the stream deck just to also show it a bit on Twitch how this works. And yeah, I see you in the next video. Peace.